Hi everyone! So today is May the 4th and not only is it my 36th birthday but it is also 34 days since my double mastectomy. So this is my cat Muzzy who has totally insisted on being in this video and I don't think I can say no to that. <laughs> so uh, so in this video, I want to show you what to expect in regards to healing um, or at least what I experienced over the past few weeks. So I'm going to show you uh, some pictures that I took of my incision lines and I'm also going to show you a little video that I did as well. And at the end, I will show you how everything looks now. So okay, let's get started. So this is 10 days after my surgery. So I wasn't experiencing too much swelling or redness. It's kind of hard to see my incision line because I'm still wearing the Steri strips. And of course my drains are still in. This is the right hand side. This is actually where my infection was. So this is kind of at the beginning of it. And you can see a little bit of redness around my drain site. This is my left hand side. This is actually where my lymph nodes were extracted and where my tumor was. So now two weeks after surgery, you can see some swelling, some redness. I'm still wearing the steri strips in my drains. This is actually when my infection was really bothersome. So you can see the redness and you can see the swelling. I had to take antibiotics for about a week and a half and uh, it was quite painful. Again, this is my left hand side. This side didn't cause too much trouble except for extreme numbness and tingling in my left arm and my armpit area. So in the next part, I'm going to show you a video that I did 18 days after my surgery and I hope you find it helpful. And yesterday I got my drains removed, which was really nice and I'm able to not wear any bandages at all. So the only bandage I have on right now is on my right side where I had an infection at my drain site. Okay, I'm just going to go over here and then I'm going to come back. Just one second. So, as you can see, it's still like a little bit swollen. It's not as flat as I would like, but apparently it gets flatter in time. That's where my drain site was yesterday, so it only took one night really to um, for it to heal. This is where my other drain site was, or well, it still is, but it, I am fighting an infection there. That's why there's still a band-aid on that one. So, yeah, there's still a little bit of bruising and everything, but overall, it's pretty neat and tidy. You know, a lot of women go through this, and a lot of people go through cancer in general, and cancer is one of those diseases that can transform your body into something that you're not used to. And it's really hard. It's a really hard process, losing any part of your body. But it's, it's, quite, it's quite a journey, it's quite a road to go down. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, to show you. So if you're going through this, you're not alone. There's lots of us out there with these scars, with these battle wounds. And the truth is, it doesn't look that bad. I have no plans on getting reconstruction or anything like that. I think that it's okay to normalize these things that happen. Yeah, I didn't choose this, and but it was my my best way of staying alive. And I wear the scars proudly, and I will find cute shirts. It's fine, and I'm still myself, and I still have all the people who truly love me right next to me, and that's all that really matters. And you get to you get to figure out who really does who really does love you because they stick around even through the hard shitty shit. <laughs> so.
So this is 34 days post-op. I pretty much have my full range of motion again, which is great. And I can do the things that I like to do, such as dancing and cooking and cleaning, and my new hobby, which is painting old furniture. It's the times of COVID-19. What are you going to do? <laughs> so I'm actually going to take this off and I'm going to show you my battle wounds. So just a second. So this is it. This is 34 days after my double mastectomy. So as you can see throughout this video, it does get better from week to week. So if you're in part of the journey where you're not feeling it, just give it some time. Don't fret. Your body is healing and it knows what to do. So I'll just show you the sides. This is that nasty infection that I had, but it's finally healing, which is great. So I am going to come up a little bit closer just so you can get a good look on the incision lines. That's where my other drain was, right here. This is where my lymph nodes were taken, and this is exactly where the lump used to be. So, you know, it's not too bad, to be quite honest. I mean, even emotionally. It's not something that you feel continuously that you are without your breasts, but there are moments. There are moments that you forget they're not there. Those can be tough. Um, one of my tough moments was just last weekend, actually, and there was a dance song on. And in this song, I instinctively <laughs> shook my boobs. But then realized I had no boobs to shake. <laughs> so dance music became sad music for that night. <laughs> um, but there were moments like that, and it, it's so it's so normal. And it, it, you know, it takes a long time to not reach for that drawer that you keep all your bras in in the morning when you go and get ready. It, it's it's tough. Um, sometimes it's good though. I, I had a, had a few moments where I was out in public and it was really cold, and I, I was afraid my nipples were going to show through my shirt because I wasn't wearing a bra, and I was like, oh my goodness, they're going to they're going to see my nipples. And then I realized like, oh, I don't have any. I don't even have to wear a bra. Ha! I don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> so um, so in some parts it's it's kind of cool that way. Um, but yeah, there are definitely hard moments, and it's it's a process, it's a journey, and it has taught me more than I have ever learned in my entire life. And if I could wrap it up with the best lesson that I got from this is learning how to love myself unconditionally. My entire life I struggled with my body. I hated my body. In fact I didn't even like my boobs very much. And looking back they were pretty nice. <laughs> you know um, I, have a, I have a little bit of regret of the energy I wasted. The moments that I wasted or didn't thoroughly enjoy because I was too caught up with how my body would look. What a pile of shit. It doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter. You deserve to love yourself unconditionally. If there's anything that breast cancer has taught me is exactly what unconditional love means. So I hope throughout your journey, you're able to grasp on to some silver lining. You have to figure it out. You will, I promise. And sometimes it's not always gonna be there, but sometimes it is. And it's the greatest strength 
and it's your strength, and nobody can ever take that away from you. It wasn't in your boobs. <laughs> it definitely wasn't in mine. <laughs> I didn't realize how strong I was until I needed to be. Oh, cliche saying, I know, but it's cliche because it's true. So, my fellow warriors, you've got this. Keep going. It's going to be okay. I have my first oncologist appointment in two days. I will learn exactly what's on my pathology report and what my further treatments are going to be. And I will definitely be making a video of all of that so that you can prepare or take notes and just inform yourself as much as you can. But for right now, I'm going to go and celebrate the rest of my birthday. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Or, right, it's here. Subscribe here. And hit the little bell so that whenever I put up anything new, you'll know all about it. Again, thank you so much. And I love you. Bye.